said he, he liked the intensity that they showed in that second half against Illinois. Well, they've continued it here in the first half so far against Pitt. As Justin Champagny, the first field goal as the confetti flies. We was out there trying to play football. It was physical. <laughs> Murphy, the fake. Good look. Brown takes it strong to the hole. And an interception. And a run out. And a layup. But no. No foul either. Back from the Panthers. Alley oop. And two. Seven on the shot clock. Murphy looking for help. Down low in the slam for Justin Champagny. Look on the other end, and again, the penetration, the help comes up, and Champagny sneaks behind Derek Culver, who was ball watching. A nice pass here by Brian Murphy. Not to knock down a shot, and they just haven't done it. There's one of them. Justin Champagny. Example of that right there. Just an ISO play at the top. Line my guy up and see if he can make a play. Champagny. Tony. Back to Champagny. And finally some crisp ball movement offensively by Pitt. Shot clock at five. McGowan's against the bigger tray over the lob to Champagny. Slow first half, but end of second half. Pitt making some plays. The alley. And then right here, showing off the hops. That's just beautiful basketball right there by Pitt. What do you think Xavier Johnson needs to do differently in the early season here to get his confidence back? Just having fun and letting the game come to him. I think, you know, in the city of Pittsburgh and nationally, up where some of the other great point guards at this university has done. The Brandon Knights of the world to his teammate in the corner because he saw that he was being double teamed so it's not like he's unwilling to pass the ball he just he draws so much attention that you have to pay so that you have to pay attention to him and, and it leaves other guys open it's for their first lead since almost 10 minutes left to go in the first half with bounce pass and there it is Justin Champagny the mark of the first half for the Panthers Champagny with the finish and they're up by two Use it here. Ankerson again, way off the mark from the corner three, and then the alley oop for Justin Champagny. The Knights. Good job by Ryan Murphy of throwing it up and letting his guy finish, but a great catch and finish. And started with the defensive rebound on the other end. Northern Illinois got a good look in the corner, just wasn't able to convert, and a good give and go there on the break. You know, probably not ideal in that situation with time and score, but hey. Got some rest. Looks as though he got up a lot of reps from beyond the arc, and they start off with a great start, and then a big steal early. Champagne for the mistake. And Jelani White got the two, and it's a 6-0 run now for Canisius. That Champagne sneaks through his third three of the half. I like the way Playtech and especially Leaky Black have been aggressive in this game. As, as speaking of aggressive, yeah, Justin Champagne, what a strong move. Well, Justin Champagne gets to that short corner, and you see attacks the basket. 32 to 18, so North Carolina has it clicking on many cylinders tonight. That jumper good by Champagne. Johnson gave it up, lost the handle. Francis, some nice tricky dribbling down the lane, and blocked out of the sky by Champagne. Last lead was 10 to 9. And then, you know, double figures down quite a bit, Champagne. Feeling it! With a three-pointer way downtown. Of course, when Justin Champagny starts knocking down threes. One percent beyond the line. The Gowans to penetrate. They leave Champagny open again. And he makes him pay again with another three-pointer. It got for the Panthers. A simple pick and pop. Garrison Brooks late on the coverage. But then a great find from Trey McGowan's to get the basketball in the hot hand. Very frisky Pitt Panther team here early on. And where Pitt has struggled at times. Uh oh. Champagne with a fall away. Shot clock to 10. Rolling war blocked by Champagne. The tie up. No one really got an advantage in there. Champagne. The ball with that much time left if you're holding it for the last one, but then Boston College gave it right back. Champagne again, off the window. How about 
this finish. A little bit healthier as well, focusing back on the fundamentals. We did see in pregame warm-ups, Wendell Moore, the freshman, who's been out for the last five games. Jones locked eyes with Carey, had an angle. Carey showed that hand where he felt comfortable to deliver it. A seamless execution between guard and big. And there's Champagny getting the dish off. His last five games, 11 and a half points and eight rebounds. He has six. Champagny, the drop off to Tony. That's just too easy as Tony has 12. Good pass by Johnson to Champagny, but he got smothered. Here's Johnson, another three. And he's got it. Seven plus minutes today. Bubba Barham rejected by Champagny. Five and a half to play in the first half as well. McGowan to Brown, power dribble. Oh! Opportunity to get to the basket. Nice pass to Champagne. And one. Great recognition by Justin Champagne realized he's got his man on his back. After that run by Pitt that closed that 10-point lead down to three. There's a rejection by Champagne. It's not playing, but the, the environment here is just outstanding. Nice reversal as Champagne feeds Eric Hamilton for the slam. Let's see if Pitt can slice into this, but another turnover from the Gowans. Beatty. No look, fine for Radford. And they wave it off and a foul on the floor first before the shot. Great backdoor cut. Tony, the extra pass for Champagny. Beattie is back in the game. That, that's crucial for the Hokies. They need his leadership. He'd been sitting after picking up his third and Champagny follows. All right, Justin. Whoa. Terrell Brown inside. Champagny. That is a Sports Center top 10 nominee. Taking it off, throwing it down. Kentwell, of course, who's the starting point guard, is, you know, a grad transfer. He hasn't been with those guys long enough. So that's one of the things that concerns you with Louisville. Rhode Island foul on Koprovica. And nice pass by Champagny. Can't underestimate how important that is to this team. Yeah, and his rim protection, top five in the league in block shots. That time unable to get a piece of it as Tony lays it in. Xavier Johnson on the drive, looking to make something happen. Hand off Champagne, much needed hoop for the Panthers. Inside again, Kulabali. This time feeding off Champagne on the two. Continue to get better. Pitt turns on. Beverly stripped Johnson of it. Bryce recovers. Long pass. Daniels. And Champagne batted it away. And a foul on Bates. Chasing the loose ball. Strip. And then it looks like. And no Hellums. foul called. Yeah. But he has had a spectacular season as Moses Wright comes up with a big block. Banks challenged that one. Count the basket. Johnson with four on the shot clock, not this time. Sean D. Brown up for the rebound. You talk about physiques now. Sean D. Brown is a guy you do not want to run into. Champagny will test him and lay it in. Playing with the chip on his shoulder, not making the all-freshman team. Here he gets into the passing lane. Goes the other way, those wide, wide ball turnover. Coming up on a half minute before the break. And Xavier Johnson thought about it. Champagny slams and it goes down anyway. It's come close to taking the lead a couple of times. There's Tony, kind of forced that shot, but it came free. And guess who laid it in? Champ to be there for the putbacks. If at first you don't succeed, Champagne's there to clean it up, dust himself off, and try again. Johnson shut down by Thunderbird. Here's McGowan. And stuffed in by Champagne. From out of nowhere. Uh, taken away by Daniels. Up for Johnson. Johnson. Champagne got back to defend. 
Pitt really crashing the glass there, and it's out of play off of NC State.